The euro and dollar have reached parity for the first time in 20 years, signaling the market's assumption that European economy is heading for a deep recession as a result of Russian invasion of Ukraine. That means European companies and consumers will pay more for goods and services they import while European exports become immediately cheaper in international markets. The euro has experienced a significant loss of value since early February when it was worth over $1.13. The fall accelerated in recent weeks as fears spread it that Russia, the European's main energy provider, was going to completely cut off gas flows to response to Western sanctions. Hi, my name is Gio, hope you're doing well. In today's episode, let's understand what is happening with the euro, why it's depreciating against US dollar, what is driving both euro and US dollar, and who will be affected. Let's get right into it. All eyes will be on the euro to see if it ends up falling below the American dollar. The last time this happened was in November 2002, when the euro was worth $0.99. Since then, the euro enjoyed a steady rise, reaching almost $1.60 in the summer of 2008, when the Great Recession was affecting the financial market in the United States. The euro to US dollar rate has fallen 11.8% in July. This decline is comparable to the losses seen in 2015 when the European Central Bank released its massive stimulus program. A deteriorating economic outlook in the eurozone in the middle of the ongoing Russian invasion of Ukraine, uncertain European Central Bank and more aggressive US Federal Reserve are continuing to damage demand for euro to US dollar. How bad is the drop? The euro fell by as much as 1.3% against US dollar, its weakest rate since December 2002. The dip is part of a longer term trend with uh, the euro weakening 8% against the dollar this year. It brings the euro closer to dollar parity, not since, since the euro's creation in 1999. Euro-related currencies such as the Hungarian forint, Polish zloty and Romanian leo have also lost value considerably against the US currency. The euro sell-off also saw the currency drop to its lowest against the Swiss franc since 2015 when the Swiss National Bank abandoned its currency pack. It also fell against the pound despite facing its own economic struggle. Other currencies such as the Japanese yen and Australian dollar are also struggling in the middle of a global recession and a soaring dollar seen as a safe haven in times of insecurity. Why is the euro dropping in value? The euro has been on a significant decline since May of 2021 when 1 euro was equal to $1.22 and has seen a drastic fall since February 2021 from $1.13 to $1. Russia's war in Ukraine was the main reason for the most recent decline as uh, Russia's wars on cutting the gas supply to Western Europe. The European Union, which received roughly 40% of its gas through Russian pipeline before the war, is attempting to reduce its dependency on Russian oil and gas. At the same time, Russia has cut gas supply to some EU countries and recently cut the flow in the North stream pipeline to Germany by 60%. The energy crisis come alongside to economic slowdown, which has caused doubt whether the European Central Bank is able to tighten the monetary policy to bring down inflation. In June 2022, the European Central Bank announced it will raise rates for the first time in over a decade, starting in July, in order to control rising inflation. After a decade of low inflation, the Eurozone reported an inflation rate of 8.6% in June 2022, the highest rate since the creation of the euro in 1999. If you want to know more about the European Central Bank and the interest rates in Eurozone, you can check out this video. Some experts said that the European Central Bank acted too late when it began raising rates in July of 2022. As the euro struggled in these challenging times, the US dollar has surged with the US dollar index increasing to 16% over the past year this week despite inflation rates and a low domestic purchasing power. Facing high inflation in the United States, reaching an annual increase of 9.1% in June, the US Federal Reserve is raising interest rates faster than the euro area. In fact, the European central bank is behind most other major global currencies in regards to interest rates hikes. More than 50 countries have raised the interest rates by at least 50 basis points in 2022, so far with the US Federal Reserve raising rates by 150 basis points with plans to continue tightening the monetary policies. 
If you want to know more about the Federal Reserve and interest rates in the United States, you know where you can find the video. The European Central Bank is too far behind the curve and that slow growth is inevitable. Some impacts have already been seen, for example, Germany recorded its first trade deficit in goods since 1991 in uh, early July as fuel prices and supply chain issues significantly increased the price of import. As the US interest rates drive higher, yields on US Treasury bonds have risen higher than those on uh, Europeans' debt, pushing investors away from euro and being more interested in a US dollar. Why is the US dollar surging against other currencies? Demand for US dollar has been increasing consistently in 2022, with its value surging 9.4% from June 2021 to June 2022. How is this possible among rising inflation in the United States? First of all, rising US interest rates have brought more investors into the dollar. As the Fed raised rates a faster pace than other economies, the return on savings and bonds is more attractive in the United States. International capital tends to flow to US when uh, rates are high, resulting in the dollar's appreciation. Secondly, the S&P was down 8.39% in June 2022, bringing its year-to-date return down to negative 20.58%. As uh, equities tank in the US demand for safe haven, asset increases, bringing more investors home and abroad to purchase the US dollar. Why does the Euro-Dollar parity matter so much? The rarity of Euro-Dollar parity is part of what makes it important since the Euro's creation in 1999. It was only parity or below between 1999 and 2002, falling to a record low of 0.80 cents in October 2000. Within the currency's relatively short history, the Euro is the second most looked up currency in the global economy and the daily volume Euro to USD trade is the highest among currency in the global forex market. Classic economic theory has pushed policymakers in many countries to welcome weaker currencies to stimulate economic growth as it makes their exports more competitive price. However, with inflation in the eurozone at record high, currency weakness only works to diminish price gain by making imports more expensive. Some policy experts in Europe said that a weaker euro is a risk to the central bank's goal to return inflation to 2%. European consumers consumers will likely feel the impact of a weak euro, especially as it only contributes more into the already high inflation rate. Who benefits from a weaker euro? The euro's weakness against the dollar and other currencies help European exports because it makes products more competitive and boost earnings. The United States accounts for more than 40% of sales for 70 large capital European companies. American traveling to Europe will be thankful for a more attractive exchange rate. American tourists will find cheaper hotels, airlines, tickets, and generally lower cost of goods while traveling. Who is hurt by a weaker euro? While a strong dollar is good for American traveling to Europe, if the dollar became too strong, it could hurt American businesses by making exports too expensive for foreign buyers. If that happened and sales of US uh, exports decreased, that could further slow down an already slowing US economy. US corporations doing business in Europe will likely see revenue shrink due to a less attractive exchange rate once earnings are returned to the US. A key concern for US is that the stronger dollar make US produce products more expensive in international market. This increased the trade deficit and reduced economic output while giving foreign products a price edge in the United States. This reduced the exports because companies outside the US are looking for cheaper options. A weaker euro can cause trouble for European central banks because it can lead to higher price for imported goods, particularly oil because it's priced in dollar. The European Central Bank is already facing a variety of concerns from existing inflation issues. The typical solution for high inflation is raising rates, but higher rates have the potential to slow economic growth, leading to concern about stagflation. Key takeaways. There is no denying that the past few years have been a challenging time for global economy. Europe, in particular, has faced more challenge than most. The combination of Russian-Ukrainian conflict, soaring energy prices, and record high inflation has effectively slow the past pandemic recovery and, in turn, weaken the euro. Now, it is expected that the European Central Bank will be raising interest rates more rapidly to slow down inflation. 
Still, the US economy is looking much more stronger, meaning the Fed could continue tightening the monetary policy and raising interest rates. And as many businesses and consumers are preparing for a recession in Europe, investors are now finding their safe haven in the US dollar. In fact, if you feel the euro could drop farther, naturally you will want to put your money in a safe haven. With the United Arab Emirates dirham back to US dollar, the Dubai real estate market is a safe haven experiencing a high level of demand, especially from European investors. The stable Dubai real estate market will help investors from the depreciating euro as they also benefit from capital appreciation and the straightening of the dirham. Just a reminder, nothing from this channel should be considered an investment and financial advice because the information is presented without consideration of the investment objectives, risk tolerance or financial circumstances of any specific investor and might not be suitable for all investors. Investing involves risk, including the possible loss of principal. Investors should consider engaging a qualified financial and tax professional to determine a suitable investment strategy. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you find this content helpful, smash that like and subscribe button to help the channel grow, turn on the notification bell and check out all the links in the description down below. See you in the next video. Stay safe.